Philadelphia fire officials are trying to figure out what caused an overnight house fire in the Frankfurt section. The fire broke out around 2 this morning in the 4800 block of Mulberry Street. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello is live at the scene. Jan, good morning. Rahel and Jim, good morning. It'll now be up to the Philadelphia Fire Marshal's office to determine exactly what happened here and what sparked the flames. They do tell us this morning, however, that this was a garage fire that extended to the home behind me here in Frankfurt. The good news this morning is that a family of six was able to get out of that house unhurt. I was able to speak to the homeowner earlier today. He says Philadelphia police officers passing by at the time noticed the flames and were able to help him get his family to safety. Now the fire here on the 4800 block of Mulberry Street started just after 1.30 this morning. The fire in windy conditions quickly grew to a two alarmer. Now the owner tells me he was getting a drink of water when he noticed the flames. Meantime, a Philly cop saw what was happening too and banged on the homeowner's door. Now in all, we have learned that four Philly cops actually helped the homeowner run through the house, getting everyone out. That included the man's wife and his four kids, one of those children just one year old. They are all okay this morning. And while this home is now badly damaged. The family is just thanking those Philly cops for their lives. The cop helped me a lot. I mean, the cop, thank God the cop is around here. He see the fire and he start running. I mean, thank God the cop is around here. Some houses were evacuated just as a precaution due to the smoke and the fire and the threat of fire spread. At this time, I was told some of the residents were let in their, their dwellings or their houses at this time. Now, the homeowner there did not want to be identified. He says the damage here is just too great for his family to stay here today in the run up to Thanksgiving. It's a tough reality to take, but he says he's just thankful no one was hurt. We're live in Frankfurt this morning. Jan Carabello, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Rahel and Jim, back into you. Thank you, Jan.